What was that? What the, uh, butter guy. You like that? I can't believe it's not butter. That's crazy. I can't believe it is butter. I said, yo, what kind of narrative is this? So, okay. I cleared it up. I didn't like this. You went on Clubhouse after you met FBG Butter, and you basically said that you struck fear in the heart of his his friend who had a rap. Did you hear that? I didn't notice any tension, any weirdness. From what I saw, I didn't even see you cross paths with the dude who was wearing the rap lot chain. There it goes. I've never seen it. But then you claimed it on Clubhouse. I claimed it where? You You claimed that that you punked him out. Did you hear that? No, but I heard that that was the idea. But you never heard it? No. But cause somebody wrote it in the clickbait title. Did they? You know I brought him on Clubhouse and pressed play for him. And what would you press play on? The content. The content that we did where he explained it no, on Tuesday night? the content that where I was supposed to said that. Okay. And it wasn't there. Okay, so you didn't have any harsh words. I didn't for- know what the f- to do was. All I knew was Mickey Truth. Mm-hmm. I didn't know nothing about... None of his history. Did you diss Butter as soon as he walked in the room? Because some people were saying that you said I didn't diss you said something like "shy rack," but you might have pronounced it "shy rat." I saw that conspiracy theory. I didn't have time to go back uh, and I check it. Shy rack. Okay. This mother is weird. First of all, Butter, I Butter's gang. Butter's cool as. F- look, first of all, I don't know. I don't know nothing about to do. I guy. keep telling y'all, whatever going on over here, over if it ain't crossing my path, you ain't with me and my people, I really don't know nothing about it. That is patently not true. Your entire hobby is sitting on Clubhouse and talking about people you don't know. Who? Give me one. I don't even tune in enough exactly, to know. Exactly, because you're a white boy like you're constantly you're doing what you people You don't know Big Sad. Do. You've devoted many of your lives, no, but, many hours of your life to discussing Big thing. Sad on there and other people. But hold on. He, again, if you cross me and my people, then, and I got the content, I know the man feels gays to Crips. I know the money he told on. I know T-Money, 34 years, 35 actually. So when my brother come to me and said, we got a problem, this boy's a rat, and boom, 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 we need to clear my boy's name, and he delivered the work, mm-hmm. then I'm going to run it. Okay. If I got a, a, a platform that he doesn't have, then I'm obligated to do that. If T-Money got access to something that I need that I don't have, he's obligated to do that. So at the end of the day, um, when we ran the content back, I said, bro, here we go. I said, I ain't got a problem with you. I don't have a problem with your man. I don't have a problem with no artist signed to rap a lot. West, Northwest, South, rap a lot Japan. I got an issue with an individual. So you're saying you never mm-hmm. talk about people you don't know on Clubhouse? Everybody I toy, hold on. If the content is there and I'm going to ask a question, Nigga then yeah. But right. I'm saying that's what we're Jay all doing. Prince, I know. Jay Prince Jr., who he, he just lined up the whole Houston, I know. Oh, right? I don't know Larry Hoover, but I never talked about Larry Hoover. So you're saying that the person who clipped it and made a title acting as if you were being aggressive towards Butter, that they were being manipulative? Butter said it. He said, yo, bro, I just went off the top. When I press play, he apologized. He said, bro, I'm wrong. I said, bro, tell me. I said, I will be up to say on Clubhouse, we pressed you or was plotting to take a chain. I don't take the jury, I get the jury back. I'm not a jury taker. You and Butter crossing paths, though, is like so exciting for the YouTuber world because they love the LA gangster and they love the Chicago gangster. They very rarely cross paths. But here goes the thing some good did come out of it. So I hit 1090J because when I get to Clubhouse, you must have put out something. You put something out. There was a clip of Butter talking about it. Okay, great. So. They like, yo, whack, you was with Butter. I was like, yeah, yeah, y'all made him up to that, no jumper. They start talking crazy. He's a this, he's a that, he's a this, he's a that, right? Mm. I say, oh, I don't know nothing about him. I just know. I said, well, maybe that explains why he didn't want to come in here. Remember, we was calling him, right? It took like 30 seconds for him to come in. Right? It wasn't well, I, like some I called him like then. three, four times, right? But I know that if, you are, if you're a real rat, which... <clears throat> Me looking at his paperwork, I don't see him ratting. He told on his dead sister, right? Well, I, I 1090 sent me all the work. Okay. Right? So I'm like, I'm thinking, well, maybe that's why I didn't want to come in here. You thinking I'm going to get on some, but I honestly knew nothing about none of that. Okay. So the next day, I hit 1090 when Clubhouse is telling me all this, and he sends me everything. So yesterday we ran it. I go through all the paperwork, all this. I find seven, eight people involved, five people dead that Butter implemented after they was dead. Right. King Von was the key. When King Von passed, right, King Von said, okay, King Von could grow Kai, 
Kai, uh, Odie, some other dude, some dude from like a lot of these Cali. are disputed, but yeah. All, no, all of them are dead. Mm. The only two alive is Jay, Butter, and a female that's in jail. We got a recording of her interviewing. She never said nobody told on her. So I told him, like, bro, when I see, I don't see you as a rat. You know what I mean, I don't see you. So coming. the telling on dead people thing, you, can, you see that as excusable? I don't give a. F Bro, if you tell on the dead, how you t listen, man? But why is it so up and open and shut for Birdman? In, in regards to Birdman. gangster, I'm gonna say it for the tenth time. You said gangster that more, told okay. on other or wires in the joint. Mm. Live living. If if I'm dead and my homeboy is cuffed, right, and he got to do thirty years of put it on me. Put, it, put on it on me. Put it on me. What are they going to do? Baby girl, put it on me. So, you know, end of the day, Sorry. you know, and I couldn't be, I said, but I can't be mad at you because I've been victim to somebody telling me somebody said something mm. and believing it. But and didn't they call T.I. Didn't they call T.I. snitch for doing the same thing? Because I think T.I., he said, like, uh, it was just like a scenario. He was just throwing there type of thing, like. You know what I'm saying? And then people still was calling T.I. a snitch. But Wax well, said that's not snitching. Reacting. And then later on it was... So how do you feel about the characterization that the reason why you took a picture with Butta was as if to say... Or did you take a picture with his friend too? Both of them. They asked me to take a was picture. Was that to send a message to Jay Prince like, look... I yeah, had that's, that's someone a wearing a rap a lot chain no, with me. One, I could have crushed his skull with one hand. For one, I never noticed a rap a lot chain. Yeah, I don't think you would have either. I, I didn't notice it, right? Two. That's why I was I, so shocked when I saw two, this whole narrative. Two, I could care less. I have nothing against that brother. If he's, he, listen, man. Like, why would you care about a dude? He he's be, wearing a rap a lot Midwest chain. But listen, I wouldn't give it. It was a rap a lot Houston yeah, chain. Yeah, he was a. Right. This dude could be signed a rap a lot today and leave and go to Empire next month, right? Now. If the artist choose to want to get some brownie points for his boss, then that's a different thing. But as far as me, like every artist from rap, I don't, I don't give a f about. I have no issues if you sign a rapper. If like you had some real deal life or death beef, and you ran into someone who was wearing a chain of that same label or crew or whatever, then I could see you maybe doing some trolls like that. But I don't think you and the not Jay Prince do thing, it. it's not so big that you can't see this dude wearing this chain without making some big weird thing I out of it. I can have a real deal beef because they might have, that's from five years ago. Mm. He might have just signed this young man six months ago. Right. Why would I subject him to some, that don't even make sense. Not to me, though. Whatever they do, they do. My issues with that person, because guess what? You already running the risk of having an issue with anybody. So why factor in a totally new guy who you know nothing about? Mm. For what? Right? It's not on him that he got a deal, and that's where it's at. Good for him. So I brought him on club. I showed him love. Let him know what it was. We played his music. Mm. You know, got him some followers on Spotify, Instagram. Up, Let him up. speak his piece, introduce himself. Cleared it up like, you know, like men do, because it was never a problem. Mm. I never said it. Right. You know me, Adam. If I said it, I'm going to tell you I said it. I don't give a I believe you. You know what I mean? It when would you, be weird to see you beefing with dudes who are it like was weird. 25 it, years younger than no, you but from, it was from cool. a different part of the country. We had no issues. No, yeah. That's how I perceived that. I was, I was really surprised. It was weird. This, yeah. But I said, Remo, you got the clip. You're like, yeah, you know Remo does. Remo good at letting the content content <laughs> and then playing dumb like he didn't know. They always know. accused me of that. Like he didn't know, but he knew. Uh, right? Uh -huh. I said, Remo, he said, yeah, I, I heard the clip, but you didn't say nothing. I said, well, why you didn't tell your man? Uh, you know, they wanted to come up there and talk about it. So Remo played it for the content. So I get it. We had to ask him. What was surprising to get a good clip. and shocking, though, is Brick Baby for the first time speaking level-headed. How about you? That was shocking. What was he, it? No, he said, he said, I don't think whack. <clears throat> he was on some people else. Right. And I'm not that type of dude to be like taking jury. That ain't me. Right. Well, nobody suggested you took it or were threatening uh, to take it. I right? want to take it. Right. What does that do? That would have been a very different level, a different level of escalation. I think that butter clip they talk about, I reacted to it. And um, I don't know. I'm just glad they uh, was able to settle differences as men. You feel me? And squash the beef. 
You know what I'm saying? We don't need none of that in the black community. Simple. Even though beef is entertaining and all this back and forth is entertaining, it's always good to, to see, you know, black men, you know, be adults about situations, you know, and he apologized. So that's respectable, man. I always apologize when you're wrong, no matter what. It's your boy, Kel, man. I appreciate y'all. Chill with me, man. It means a lot, man. Hit the button, show me love. Show the channel some love and support. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, all right? Peace.